I fell down to the burning ring of fire. This mother fricker just won't freaking die. And he's hitting the shit out of me. And I hope I don't die. I hope I don't die. This is the second installment here of our guide slash adventure. Look at here, guys. We got a motorcycle jacket. Let's go, Fonzie. Let's see how we look here. Hey. Hey. Or Rocky, of course. Hey, yo, Adrian. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Yo, Adrian. I did it. I don't think uh, Rocky wore a leather jacket, but nothing here. Let's see. Any Wawa? No Wawa. <laughs> No Wawa. Forget about it. Forget about it. All right. We're still sort of traveling north, so. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, Fonzie would be proud. Another leather jacket. Okay, read the third row down, please. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. All right. Let's go ahead and cut this one up, though. We don't want nobody to share in the wealth. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Plus, we might need some brags to protect ourselves. You know? You just never know. You never can tell with these things. Oh, and they took the place of my hatchet. What? the fuck come on come on what else we got oh there's the sh there's a shed oh, I was looking for IED mines and there's a gas oh okay let's see what we can use here small gas canister would be nice but uh, we definitely do not have use for that because we don't have a big enough bag. And that's just not going to work for us, so. And I have really no purpose for this scrap metal either. Eh, oh, here we go, baby. A screwdriver. All right. Looking good, looking good. This is a pharmacy, and there is a, appears to be a grocery store. A corner store. Okay, whoops, missed that. We're definitely not, definitely not jumping high enough, but we're gonna make it. Ooh, I hear it. Oh shit. There's two of them. We're gonna play a song. Hey, five swings of the banjo, baby. I'm gonna play you a tune, a little tune as we swing. Oh, out a boy, come on, baby. Oh, you back up again. But you just took a hell of a hit. I fell down to the burning ring of fire. This mother fricker just won't freaking die. And he's hitting the shit out of me. And I hope I don't die. I hope I don't die. I fell into a burning ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. <laughs> All right, this guy is taking quite a beating, and so are we. Who's gonna win this one? Oh my God, we're gonna die, guys. Holy shit, that was quite the fiasco.
Let's, uh, let's heal up. Quick as possible, shall we? Yeah. Let's do that. Well, we do have our little bottle of, uh, special sauce. Probably should use that special sauce, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and disinfect this rag. Treat another boo-boo. There we go. Well, he definitely did not appreciate my singing. And, uh, definitely did not. What is going on? It's kind of glitching right now at the moment. He did not appreciate my voice, apparently, nor the tunes we were playing for him. What a rude guy. What a rude guy. Let's go ahead and get this bleeding to stop. Uh, we're getting kind of desperate here. I know I could just, well, I'm going to just let it bleed. I'll let it bleed. It'll heal shortly. Usually C1, you don't need to treat, you know, you don't need to. But, uh... I wanted to treat it a little bit, just a bit, to uh, kind of help with not dying, of course, you know what I mean? I'm going to ditch this and keep the rag. We don't really need a lock at the moment. All right, so we're going to leave the old banjo behind. It served its purpose, and uh, we're going to see what we got on this guy here. Did we get any goodies? Any, any goodies at all? Hmm? Any goodies? No? No goodies, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and chop him up. As delicious as that sounds. Uh, to get a bone needle. So we can make a repair kit for our clothing. As soon as humanly possible. We have to find thread, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and chop that up into a bone needle. All right, where is that pretty thing? There we go. Put it right there. And we'll put the old axe back in its place. And we're gonna need to recover some healing after that ass whooping, I'll tell you what, but we're getting there. Advanced medical. So we should be able to uh, get that bleeding to quit pretty quickly. And it's gonna stabilize and then it'll go into recovery phase. In the meantime, we're going to limp our happy asses over here and see if there's any yummies in here. In the old pantry. Press a snack on. Yum, yum, tum, tum. Yum, yum, tum, tum. No yummies, huh? Hmm. We are kind of a sitting duck at the moment. We need this to heal a little quicker. That'd be nice. Maybe the C2 will stop uh, pretty quick. Kind of a sitting duck with this kind of slow movement stuff. Limp your happy ass over to the shed. Let's have a good time. We're gonna hide, hide in the shed. Just for a happy moment. And we're going to use a bow. Alright, we should be stabilizing a little bit more here. Could use some painkillers, that'd help me move a little faster. But, not, not happening. We have a bobby pin. Let's go ahead and craft a lock pick. With that there. Leave that. Give me my arrow. And man, oh man. Can't pick it up. Uh, I think we might go ahead and ditch the old absinthe here. We don't need it. We're recovering. 32. We might be able to hobble along over here. Real dangerous like.
definitely an easy target, but you know. We will survive. There's some matches. Might need those for a fire if we get hypothermia. Hypo or hyper. Whichever. The cold one's the one I'm referring to. Come on, man. Almost there. I think we're going to sit here and relax a moment. And uh, we'll cut this until we get to back to full recovery. I'm going to go ahead and lay down in the lay down position that... Uh-oh. Players. There's a player here. Oh, no. Player. Or is he? Player. Oh, God. The suspense. I would charge him, but health's not so hot. Pretty suspenseful shit. We're in recovery stage with all of our bleeds. Our health should be recovering here pretty shortly. All right, we're recovered enough. Oh, it is a Z. Scared me for nothing. It was just a puppet, guys. Holy moly. False alarm. Let me tell you what. Let's see. Ooh, another nail. You like long or short nail? Uh, short nails, please. Thanks. You can stack the nails, actually, guys. What do we got here? Pitchfork. More nail. Love to find a, a 10 out of 10 blue wire to make a stronger bow. That is the idea. Oh, yes. Crowbar. All right. What can we get rid of? We don't need all these arrows. We're going to take the crowbar, baby. Crowbar will help you with lock picking without having a screwdriver and a lock pick. You just basically force it open. It is an extremely, extremely loud way of doing things. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to do it. All right, I think we're on our way. We're going to go on our way. I will check this for a little bit of food before we go. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Jump scares in this game, I swear to God. <sighs> Can be intense. Especially at night. Check these sacks here. A little lag. Let's see. Let's have a little carrot juice. But our water is already good, so probably not. And the pumpkin... Okay, so the pumpkin and the carrot juice both give you water. Now, on your way, you can grab some grubs or crickets at times from these logs, which is a good idea. Keep your food up as much as possible. Because it can be a pain in the ass. Once you get super low. 
We're glitched. Which tells me there's a cricket in here. Yep. Let's go ahead and eat those real quick. Keep that food up. Let's check out the shed real quick one more time. Before we run out of here. Oh, baby, baby. Look what we've got. All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Some thread, baby. Oh, my. All right. Now that's what I'm talking about. So now we have a purpose for this thread and this bone needle. So we're going to click the bone needle, click the thread, right click, and craft improvised sewing kit, guys. That's good news. Good freaking news right there. Very good news. Now we can actually either make a better sat, uh, excuse me, a better quiver, or we can make armor, all sorts of good stuff. So I need to ditch something. Do, 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 do. I don't know what to ditch. I'm gonna ditch the matches. We'll use something else somehow. So here we are guys. Already off to a much needed good start. And we're going to be heading to this town. We're going to hopefully pick up some good stuff. There's a lock. Don't need it for now. All right, let's get the heck out of here. On the way to... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a boar. Haha. -ha. Well, we could use the food, but mm, we're at 88. I think we're pretty set. And I've been prolonging this thing a lot longer than I anticipated. So we're going to try to get to this town and stop procrastinating it. What do you say? Huh? What do you guys think about that? Man, I tell you what, I've, I've never been so excited about Thread. But when you're trying to get, uh, you know, some gear together, you definitely need it. And a lot of the times when you need things, you don't get them in this game. So we celebrate hardcore when we get those things that we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to go kind of east. I want to really start at the east. Uh, or excuse me. I want to start at the west side of town. Which is going east here. And we need to rest. Get our energy back up. There is a little hunting stand over here. I do want to go ahead and see if we can get something good out of it. it is risky. But let's give it a shot. It'd be very nice to find a hunting scope up here. Anything? Nothing. Okay. And you can go ahead and kind of jump down from there. If you climb down a little bit and you just jump off, you will not take any fall damage. Which we definitely do not need is fall damage. So we are approaching the town here, guys. All right. Let's be very car careful. It's very careful, Coral. Coral! 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 All you Walking Dead fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. Coral! This thing is locked up. So just so you guys know, since the 0.75 update, a lot of buildings have been locked up uh, to help improve the performance in this town, believe it or not. And there's a lot of sunlight or light shining through there. Normally, I wouldn't like to run through lighting like that because it definitely lights you up to be shot at easily. But, you know. When you have less, you can afford to be a little risky. Um, dang, we can't take that. We can't pick that up. Which is unfortunate. Lock. Don't need that right now. Would love to have it. All right, here we are. So this building over here is boarded up as well. 
This is a little cafe. You can find food here. I'm really not looking for food right now. So basically, you know, if you know kind of like what you're doing, what the objective is, you can ignore certain areas and just kind of go straight where you can get the loot that you're looking for. So this is a tool shed or garage. So look, car batteries are here. They spawn very frequently. And if you're lucky enough to be blessed with a car, this is a, de a definite good place to go. You can check here on the map where it is, okay? And we are, again, We are. this is not single player mode. This is regular old, I'm, I can't pick up the pipe, can I? Too, nope, too long. You can use a pipe to make improvised shotguns. You can use it for other crafting. And the improvised shotguns, we really can't afford to actually grab a bunch of junk right now because we are very limited on space. So my objective is find a backpack or at least be able to craft a bigger one. And so we're gonna try to go up top, Let's see what we can find. Usually you may find some kind of a, a puppet up here. Bathroom. I'll tell you what, guys. Bathrooms are golden. Whoop. Glitched a little bit. Sometimes you can find some mighty, mighty fine loot in a bathroom. Especially in a bunker. Bunker bathrooms are something special. Alright. Let's leave this area here. Exit. A lot of cars. These buildings are all boarded up. Those buildings. Nothing really going on either. Now, there used to be some hunting shops. By the way, there's a graveyard through there. Uh, there's a church here. Churches are a hot mess for PvP action usually. So, let's get our feet wet, shall we? Check the floor for bombs. Usually there's a puppet up here somewhere or a player a lot of times a lot of people like to use churches as like a mini base where they set up their bed and they lock it down um, There is like oh see oh, I'm glitching. What the hell I'm glitching like I said there we go So so much for the update there man a little bit of glitchiness going on still now, um, we got this guy. Grab a nail. You can actually stack your nails. So I drag it and stack it. You can stack up to 10 nails at one slot. Now, what I would like to do, I'm going to go ahead and chop him just in case. Because if you leave the area, they will despawn. Um, and when they despawn, you know, you run out of the opportunity to be able to get the puppet skin or bone needle. So it, the reason I'm doing this is because, um, I want to be able to craft a bigger backpack if possible. And, and we need another puppet to do so. So the skin kind of sometimes floats around on the floor somewhere. Or it could have actually spawned outside. So when you cut the bodies, try to be careful of like where you actually happen to have the zombie fall uh, or the puppet fall because this their guts may spill out outside of the natural area that you want to be working in. So you may need to be very, partic be very particular about where you end up killing the puppet. Um, Oh, baby, look at this. A 
Freaking Bushman, guys. Now that is a nice weapon. All right. That is a nice weapon. We're going to take that. Uh, actually, we can't. You got to put the Bushman in your in your pack. And then what we do is... I'm going to click drag. I'm going to remove this quick access. And I'm going to click drag this one here. So now, for quick access, we can pull that Bushman out right away. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Oh, can't do that. We want to put it back. But that's a damn handy weapon right there. I'll tell you what. Now, can I carry both in here? No, cannot. So this one's going to have to be in my hands. This one's going to have to be in my backpack. That is a nice melee weapon, guys. Oh, yes, baby. That's a nicer Viker jacket right there. And the fact that ours is damaged. You know what I mean? Now, can we slide this in here? Yes, we can. So now... We can have this in a quick slot, that in a quick slot. And the reason I'm happy about this is because... And I'm actually going to take these pants. It'll freaking go. I'm kind of stuck. That's a real annoying thing, guys. Sometimes you'll get stuck when you're in the... Uh, uh, I'm going to ditch this sh crappy rag and put these in my pocket here. Because then I can shred those for an extra bandage. All right, so things are looking up a little bit. We got, you know, some upgraded stuff from once we got damaged. And I know I could have used a thread to repair my, my damaged clothing, but we want to save it for something really important. So we got to find where's east. So if you don't have like an advanced compass, check your north and kind of guesstimate a little bit. So we're going to go east. And that is where we are headed. Now, a really good place to loot in here is is the uh, the school. The school is an excellent place to loot. Um, and then also, weapon shops. So, be careful, very careful. There is a police station also. Now, there are some buildings out here that are kind of like abandoned warehouse type buildings. These really don't have much purpose. Um, but there are some sheds over here that you can take a look at. Now, another thing you can do with these sheds is you can actually lock them up. Um, I don't really want to go up there. But you can go up there, if you, of course, if you want to. We're looking for the hot spot areas, guys. That's what we really want. Now, this right here. There are water canisters here. Um... Now, I'd love to be able to grab this. I'm actually going to try to drink one of these really quick. When you run out of space, man, you really you really have to pick and choose what you have, you know what I mean? Now, what I could do is I could repair this. So what you do is, if you want to repair an item of clothing, you right click, and if you have a thread improvised sewing kit here, you can right click and repair. And then that will fix this red box here. So I want to move this money here. Let's see if I can move these pants here. And, you know, let's see. I don't really need 
Mm, man, this is tough. This is tough stuff, guys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not gonna have it. I'm just not gonna have it right now. Maybe we'll come back and find him again. As you can see, there's a lot of canisters here. We want our water up. 311. 381. That's good enough. Let's leave this behind. And maybe we can come back to it. But there's tons of things to drink. Tons of food. Uh, look at here. Beer. What else? Rubber. So a piece of rubber you can use for... Making a metal sword. This is a canned food. So this is very handy. And energy drink. So these are the new energy drinks in the game. Um, we do want to go ahead and just eat this. So how you open a can of food is you click it. Click a weapon, like a bladed weapon. And you're going to click, excuse me, highlight them both. And then right click to open on the can. And that's how you open. And then you can also have can openers, uh, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and eat this. I'm going to try to hide over here a little bit. The energy drinks are pretty good. Um, if you're very in need of some form of literal energy, I'm going to go ahead and eat all of the food. And do watch your stomach to you make sure you don't go over 100% because you'll throw it up. This has energy drink has 11 grams of carbs, 88 water, some caffeine. Um, and then there's also, if you hold control, you can see more. Oh, see? So why did I throw up? I threw up because there was food repulsion and I wasn't paying attention. You see what happened there? So you should have food repulsion here, okay? And apparently because the item was below 60%, it gave me food repulsion, so I threw up. You can stop eating midway if you hit escape, but now we are basically back to where we were before, which is barely any food ingested. If we drink this energy drink, it fills your stomach back up, right? But it also fills your water, so we don't want to really get full on that again because we don't want to be peeing 100% like of the time here. So we can ditch that. We're good. And we're going to pee. I actually can't pee. Hold on. Our bladder is still at 19. When you hit 50% on the bladder, you can you can pee. And if you hit 50% on the colon, um, you can also take a big old deuce. You know what I'm saying? There's no real way of uh, making that sound professional. But there you go. Big old deuce. Now, middle of the map is where you will find the gym. So we're going to try to get to the gym. And not to work out, but to find some stuff. Now, this is a house. Maybe if we wish hard enough, we'll find a backpack in here. What is this? Can of corn, okay? So I'm going to take that. For later. Maybe we'll not have the same experience with the stew or the beans. So that's 69%. So we should actually be fine to eat that one without much repulsion. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so this side of town's pretty much dead. Uh, this used to be a hunting shop, but they changed it into a market. So you can actually... Oh, you hear that? Okay, there's two of them. Oh, you fricker. Damn it. I hate that. But here's a blessing in disguise, guys. Blessing in disguise. We're going to chop this fricker up. All right. Let's look left to right a little bit here. This is more desolate side of town. Not many people come over this way. 
um, we want to make this improvised backpack. We need five pieces of cloth, two skins, and some rope, okay? So what we're gonna do is chop this fricker, okay? Actually, I don't wanna waste this. Let's use this, all right? And we'll waste it on, on that. And then we're gonna chop that tree over there. Build ourselves a backpack, guys. This could have done, this could not have happened actually any better. Because you got two puppets in the same area, right? Which means you can keep get the skin, which is this. I'm gonna take it in hand here. I wanna put it inside here real quick. Drop it. Disgusting. And what we found here, beer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and search this one and chop this one too. And baby, baby, we're gonna have a bigger backpack, okay? Baby, baby, baby. If at any time you can round up some puppets, once you've gotten that improvised sewing kit made, and dang it, it's trying to use my freaking Bushman, I wanna save that one. If at any time you can gather or round up two puppets in one area, you can make this uh, big backpack, which you guys are gonna be super excited about, just like I am. That is done. There's that, and now where's the other skin? There's two skins here. So there's one. I'm gonna put the other next to it. And that's another thing, you can move and arrange things around. Uh, you can move that by clicking on the area and dragging it in your vicinity. This is also how you can move chests. We'll do another video on that at some point. But now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this tree, okay? And then I'm gonna take the branch and I'm gonna bring it inside. Now, if at any point you can find a saw, this would be much better because then it's less loud and it's also way quicker. But we're using primitive tools. That's what it is. So I'm gonna come over here, take this in hands hurry our asses inside close the door close the door close the fucking door all right there we go give me rent you'll get your rent when you fix this damn door i chop this all right kind of keep an eye open here and we're gonna make rope because even though you have a sewing kit, we still need rope. And the quickest, easiest way to get a bunch of rope is to chop a tree down, grab the branch, chop it into long sticks, which is what we're doing here. So all these nice sticks are here and some small ones, right? But we gotta get more small ones. So we're gonna cut the long one into small. And if at all possible, always keep looking around you know, scan the area. So we're gonna do, how much rope does it need? Two rope. You can also make rope out of cloth. This is improvised rope. You take rag, you cut a piece of clothing into cloth, then cloth into rag strips, and then rag strips can be made into rope. But we're gonna use tree bark rope. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. Right click, make sure you have a sharp item in hand. Tree bark rope. And again, we need to keep all this kind of stuff. The fact, the beauty of that puppet uh, attack there was everything is in the vicinity, just where we need it. So let's go ahead and chop this one up, one more up. Ah, I don't want to use that. You freaker. Give me this. The AI is not quite, you know, the AI actually in this case is smart. Uh, in this case, because it's actually trying to get you to use the more efficient weapon uh to do a better job you also get more um as your weapon degrades you actually lose the you know uh it's hard it's harder to get more sticks out of it you end up kind of getting less sticks so but 
But there are those times that really annoy me because if, let's say I have a metal sword or something, right? Um, all right, I'll just, I'll get back to that in a minute. So we gotta do this quickly. I wanna get out of here. So we need five pieces of cloth. We got these sexy jean pants here and all of their clothing, okay? So these are actually clean. I might keep these for myself here. But we're gonna cut this dirty jacket up instead. Use the freaking axe. I'm trying to preserve the Bushman. If you wonder why I'm doing that, it's because I'm trying to preserve it for damage for using against players, other things like that. So cut up the dirty clothes, which, because it doesn't matter uh, if you use clean or dirty rags, it doesn't matter. So look at that. We've got five pieces. Perfect. So we're going to, so we literally can now craft this sucker, but I don't want to use my Bushman. So I'm going to manually do it. So we need five pieces of cloth. One, two, three, four, five. Highlight your tool. Highlight the skins. Highlight the rope, which they were already highlighted. And your sewing kit here. Right click. You can make either an improvised backpack, water container, or animal skin quiver. We want the backpack, baby. And the next time we can, we're going to get, we'll do the animal skin quiver. So that'll give you two or three more slots of space instead of just this one. And if you have a low survival skill, it takes longer to craft things. So the quicker you get that up, the faster things will get crafted, saving you time, keeping you safer. So there, bada boom, bada bang, we got a freaking backpack. We're gonna equip that sucker. Boom, Ooh. bam, oh. bop, bada bop, boom. Pow. Oh! And make sure whenever you draw, equip a new bag that you grab your old stuff, okay? And now what I'm going to do is cut this into rags because I don't want anybody else having any fun. You know what I'm saying? And I want the cloth. So we're going to cut this into rags. And look at all the space we have now. Isn't that great? Well, isn't that special? <laughs> So that is how you can give yourself way more inventory space. I'll go ahead and uh, leave these here. No need that for now. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Let's keep adventuring. And we are very close to the outside. Uh, outside of the forest there hearing lots of wolves i actually wish they would uh have coyotes come out honestly a little bit more realistic for a town than having wolves come through but that's just my preference all right Now, there is there are two ways you can do this. So this area over here is a big market, okay? So if you're in need of more food, things like that, you may want to hit this market. There's also some warehouse buildings over there. Uh, we will check this market out real quick. Doors are open. You might get lucky, could find maybe, you know, maybe some good, decent stuff here. I always like to check it. Make sure there's nobody loitering. What do we got? I have Santa Claus hat. I don't want that. There's also an upstairs to this, which I will show you guys. And if you want to run through really quick somewhere, Hold tab, and you can kind of see in the vicinity what's around the shelves. And you can just go ahead and hit tab. Oh, look at that. A pair of gloves. We don't we already have some cool gloves. 
And then you can kind of just focus on paying attention to your surroundings a little bit. And you can actually adjust this. You can drag this up, make it higher or lower to, sh to fit either more or less items on screen with you, which is very handy from time to time. Uh, so, so far I'm not seeing anything very important. There are a bunch of boxes, however, which you can loot. And here's the upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. It could be office building up here. Some doors open, some doors close. This is a, a ticket to the roof. My favorite is a uh, bathroom uh, exploration sometimes here and there. Don't ask why. Well, you know why. I already told you why. Bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, it's the office. Office. Hallway. Long. A lot of hallways, guys. A lot of offices. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find a handgun in here. I don't even want to bother checking those mini uh, cabinets there because I know what I'll find. I'll find locks. Now, will this go down the elevator? Huh? 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 There's another set of stairs. There are drink machines and snack machines like you would find in a uh, place of business for the most of the, you know, for some employees here and there. And usually in these office buildings, the only thing you will find is locks and things like that inside of the, inside of the desk drawers or these cabinets here, usually filled with locks or little items like that rubber bands from time to time so I think I'm gonna get out of here but I just wanted to show you you know what is potential in this area I'm actually gonna I want to go down the other side I'm curious curiosity is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a terrible thing in this game so let's go down these stairs and see where we can uh, drum up. ATM, huh? Uh huh? All right. And this is the exit. More north is, like I said, the gym. I will like to get to the gym to show you the gym. But I do want to show you guys. I want to show you guys a lot of stuff, but we have so much time in this video. Waterway here, don't fall in. Don't fall in. There's a bridge here. All right, and. This is a market again. I've showed you about the markets. Let's cross the bridge. Constantly kind of scan the area. Make sure you are in safe enough territory. Now here, here ladies and gentlemen, in lies the gym. And, oh God, and there we go. Freaky shit, all right. I'm gonna cut this sucker up, take his skin, okay? In the next video, uh, we're gonna continue our journey. I hope that you've learned some tips along the way. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Be alpha.